my YouTube channel and before we get started today I am gonna announce oh my seven month <laughs> seven month uh, belly can, can you show them around your warehouse a little bit like this whole rack right here Uh, this is for display, not storage. And then this is gel, and then we have the glow, and we got a bunch of stuff everywhere. <laughs> but I'll just show you guys the power crap. But um, anyways, before we get started today, I am gonna announce the winner to our last giveaway, and the winner is Nubia G. So Nubia, please message me on Instagram with your address so I can send out you your not polished surprise giveaway and for today's nails before we get started with today's nails we are having another giveaway so to enter this next giveaway all you have to do is like the video subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment with the answer whatever the question I may ask later on you find out in the middle of the video or something Right, guys i already have the not polish universal tips on and we're going to be using color 160 today it's a mauve nude so it's on a dark it's on like um a darker shade of nude all right guys so again i'm just going to start at about 90 percent to the cuticle so I'll start about 90 percent of the nail flatten out the top area first and then slowly press and pull the rest of the product down towards the tip of the nails and the reason a lot of time I, if I do use two beads application, is because uh, due to the weather, a lot to do with the weather. Because sometimes if it's too hot, the product gets dry quicker, and if it's too cold, the product gets dry runnier. So, um, one depends on the weather whether I'm doing one bead or two beads application also, and depend on how long the nails are. But this is longer and the weather is super hot in the warehouse so I am going to use two beads application. And so the second beads I'm going to apply about 99% of the nails, clean my brush, dip in a little bit monomer and then flush the rest of the product into the cuticles. And now I'm just going to pull the rest of the product down just like that. And remember guys, if it's super hot you want to pick up a little bit more liquid in your brush so um, your product doesn't dry up too quick, okay? There you go, and I'm just going to clean off the edges real quick. And always, always make sure you guys keep the shape of the nails while you're doing this. So you don't have to spend a lot of time hand filing it later. Alright, same things for this second nail. We're going to be using the same color also, and I'll apply about 90% of the nail. Push it up a little bit, clean my brush, dip it in a little bit monomer, and now I'm just gonna lightly pull both sides of the nails down just like that. And then press and pull it down towards the tip of the nail. And then uh, the second bead, we're going to apply about 99% to the cuticles. Clean your brush, dip it in a little bit monomer, and then flush it into the cuticles. And I'm just lightly pull the product down just like that. And once it gets more than halfway, I will drag the rest of the product off to the tip of the nail. Now the nail is completely dry, I'm going to go in with the 5-in-1 Supercut bit from um, 
from not polished to do all my shaping and as you guys know I did use a lot of the cross bit from not polished I did use that bit to do a lot of my shaping but the cross bit is actually out of stock right now and the only difference be between the cross bit and the supercut is the supercut is a little bit more of a fine bit and then the, uh, the cross cut is actually the uh, medium grit bit so that's the only difference but they they have the same they do the same thing and they are pretty much just the same thing <laughs> alright guys I'm just gonna go in and just pre-shape the nails real quick with my bit All right, now we're done with that. I'm just gonna go over and smooth out the top of the nail just like that. Right now that's done, we're gonna go in with the not polished hand file just to shape up the nails real quick. I'm gonna go in and buffer the nails to make sure it's nice and smooth. And that's done, I'm gonna go in with the LV stickers and then just use my tweezer and stick it on top of the nails. And make sure there's no air bubble or anything like that because when you put on the matte top coat, if there's air bubble, you might see it. So make sure you put it on, use finger and press it down, make sure it's super smooth like that. You see there's no air bubble or anything in that. I'm gonna go in with the last piece right here and then use my thumb just to press it down and then release the tweezer. And now that's all done. We're gonna use an ombre gel from Not Polish also, okay guys? What I'm gonna do is just apply the ombre, ombre gel on top of the nail like that. And then make sure you guys clean the edges off. Just a light touch like that, you see? Just lightly touch it because we want it to keep the shape of the nails. Secure it for 30 seconds, do the same thing for the next nail. So I'm just applying the ombre gel for the next nail again. And then what we do is we always clean the edges off just a little bit like that because you know gel tends to run and that can ruin the shape of the nail. And now that's done and cure for 30 seconds. What I'm going to do is use an ombre brush and go in with a black powder and just rub it on like that. Apply more pressure at the tip because we want the tip to be darker and kind of release the pressure like lighten the pressure a bit in the brush as you work your way up because you don't want it to be too dark at the top because we're going for an ombre effect and as you can see that some spot looks a little bit darker that's okay it's totally fine once you do a second coat of the powder we rub on again that should all even out you see this is the first coat so i'm just using my brush dipping it directly in the black powder and just rubbing it on like that in that dusting on technique you see And anytime I am doing this type of ombre, I always do it two times. So I'm gonna let that one just sit right there real quick while I work on my second nail. And I'm just gonna go in and rub on the powder direct on, directly on top of the nail, all right? Just rub it on like that. And there you go. Make sure you apply a lot of pressure at the tip of the nails because we want it to be darker there. And we want the ombre to get lighter as it gets towards the cuticle. So a lot of pressure on top of the tip and then lessen the pressure in the brush as you work your way up. And now this is the second time I'm gonna apply on the ombre gel again. Make sure you don't use apply too much pressure in the brush when you guys put on the ombre gel for the second time because you might end up swiping uh wiping off the color so very light okay apply very light pressure just like that and then make sure you clean off the edges just a little bit and then again cure it for 30 seconds under the light 
clean off the edges now you know cure it under the light for 30 seconds and now that is cure we're gonna rub on the um powder for the second time and as you can see the second time the powder instantly got a lot darker so when you guys doing this way of ombre make sure you guys just do it twice just to make sure the color is very pigmented or you can stop at one it doesn't matter now i'm just going to do the french outline around this one with the black gel polish so i'm just using any type of black gel will work just fine and when doing lines i find that it's a lot easier if you guys are using the the longer detail brush and the reason is because when you use a longer detail brush it takes you like one like stroke just all the way down to the end just like that because the more stroke that you are doing sometimes your lines end up getting looking a little bit choppy so I like to use I like to use the longer brushes to do line work just like that All right, now that is done. We're gonna cure it for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with my diamond glue gel just to apply my gems on and just put it wherever your gems are at. And I am using these gold little rings right here and I got these from Amazon. So if you guys um, need them, just go on Amazon. It did take a long time for me, for it to get to me. So I suggest that when you guys find it, make sure you um, order a lot of it. Right. and I'm just gonna apply it right there so all my gold gems I use in my videos are from Amazon and then I'm just gonna apply my last piece right here I mean my diamond not my last piece and then the last piece of the gold at the end and then once that gold is on I am gonna use my finger and kind of wipe off the excess at the tip like there you see that wipe it off cure it for 30 seconds and then now I'm gonna go in with the matte top coat and make sure you do not get the matte on top of the rhinestone because that can dull it out but if you do get it on a little bit on top of the rhinestone make sure you just go in with a tiny bit of a, um, a shiny top coat and just dab it lightly on top of that piece of gem to bring back the shine all right so you see how I'm just gonna go around with the matte top coat just like that and then before I cure it, I am going to wipe on the edges just a bit like that. Just to make sure my shape stays sharp. Cure it for 30 seconds and then work on my next nail. So my next nail is just an ombre nail. And I'm just going to use the same technique with the diamond glue gel from Not Polished. Just apply it right there at the tip just like that. And then we're gonna go in with the gems. guys can see I have a little extra at the tip of the nail just like that a little excess of the diamond gel so I'm just gonna wipe it off just like that and then cure it for 30 seconds 
make sure it's pretty straight before you cure it. And then cure for 30 seconds and again go in with your matte top coat just around the gems. And for my question to, of the day is, I want to know what is the most expensive um, set of nails that you guys have ever done. Um, all right, guys, leave me your comment with your answer because I want to know. And I want to know what did you do for that set of nails also. All right, guys, now that's all done. I'm going to uh, put on the mat on all of the nails and then we're going to cure it for 30 seconds underneath the light. And you notice when I put on the matte top coat, I apply very light pressure. When you guys do this kind of, um, this technique of ombre, if you apply too much pressure, sometimes the top coat might end up, um, I mean, the brush might end up wiping off the, um, the, the color. So make sure you apply very light pressure. And this is the finished product. Super easy black ombre with the not polished ombre gel.